Hello. So, uh, some folks have asked me, what is it, what is it like to get a really fancy sword? I have lots of fancy swords, they're the ones back here, you've probably seen some of them in the videos. What is it like when you get a really crazy expensive sword in the mail? Um, well, I happen to have one, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, right here. Uh, so most of the time, these are not, um, these are like secondhand, you might say, or they're not from a manufacturer, they're uh, from private people that I buy them from, so, you know, this packaging isn't exactly representative, but this is what a uh, fancy Howard Clark L6 Katana would come in uh, if you get one. Not necessarily from Howard Clark, though, you know, from someone else. So, uh, I thought I would go ahead and just do the, the unboxing on camera since, uh, since at least tens of people seem to be interested in it. Oh, this one's, this one's packaged all sorts of nice. Look at this. I don't normally get them uh, so so nicely packaged. Though, if I'm not mistaken, this might be one that I have seen before. It's a good package, though. Look at this. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's a pretty secure sword right there. And this here thing. All right, so let's see what we got. So this is a sword bag. <laughs> it didn't quite, quite make it all the way over the knot. Whatever, we're not gonna use this sword bag. And uh, yeah, this is the sword. Okay, so what do I got here? Initial impressions, let me turn on a light here. So, As I mentioned, this is a, uh, a Howard Clark L6 katana. It's uh, it's got moan over the. I don't know what moan this is. The transitions are pretty nice. You know, it's not uh, it's not something that I feel when I touch it with my finger. So that's that's good. Uh, it's got some sort of almost. I don't exactly know what it is. It's not wood, or it doesn't look like wood, but some sort of staining. Now, bear in mind, um, I haven't seen even photos, really, of this katana other than some from a while ago, so I was not sure exactly what it would look like. Uh, so, well, I mean, I, I had an idea what it would look like, but... I didn't see a lot of photos. I, I got it from somebody that uh, that I trust quite a bit, so they said it was in good shape, and I kind of took that on faith. And it seems I was right to do so. I mean, there's no dings or scratches. What I'm looking for is, you know, was it dropped? Are there pings in the saya? Um, a lot of people look at a loose suba. That's honestly, I mean, it's something that I know people look at, but it's not something I really look at humidity temperature can change them quite a bit but uh, there's a lot of martial arts that rely on the feedback from a loose suba almost to to give you a sensation of if you're doing your your stuff correctly um, the fuchikasha are nice you know this uh, this is much better than I thought it would be honestly I thought it would be quite a bit more blocky now the moment of truth yeah let me, let me get my handling cloth and before I do that maybe you can see the suba I mean these these fittings are just um, and I knew this going in no, nothing about this is surprising to me I, I had a good idea of what it was like the saya is actually a bit nicer than I thought it would be uh, I didn't expect it to be I thought it would be more blocky um, from the photos I had seen a while ago, that was my impression, and it is, uh, it's much nicer than I expected it to be. 
there's a little bit of weirdness with the lacquer uh, near the uh, Koiguchi, um, but that's about the only thing I notice. Otherwise, it's in uh, very good shape. It has, has some personality. The leather Ito is not bad. The diamonds aren't exactly perfect, but they're they're pretty well done. Um, it's in a leather that I'm not familiar with. I don't I don't know who made it, but it's it feels really thick. Um, it's very tight, but it seems like whoever was doing this had a hell of a time playing with it. And the fittings, uh, the Fuchi Kashira Suba. I mean, realistically, they just seem beneath it. They almost seem like production-style sword fittings. I have to get a closer look at them. I mean, they might be something nicer, but uh, they seem seem a little hokey for what this blade is supposed to be. Okay, moment of truth. Notice I'm not talking over the blade because speckles of my spit can uh, settle on the blade and rust it. Well, uh, I don't see any spots of any kind. I'm going to look it over a little bit more diligently now. So the, I don't see any spots at all. I'm gonna put it away now. So I don't see any, any spots at all. Uh, it seems in very good order. Uh, they're, honestly, the polish is really splendid. It's a beautiful looking blade. The polish I, I I don't and maybe I'll do a video on this a little bit later the polish is a little meh on the Kisaki it's not burnished uh, quite as well as I would hope it would be um, but it's it's not not anything terrible or unexpected or, or frankly that bad just a personal preference um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet um, this is in better shape than I expected it to be in person and, and I think the previous photos that it had just, just didn't kind of give it, give it what it needed. Um, the fittings on it aren't great. And uh, I have some fittings coming, actually, that I picked up from a fellow SBG4 mate uh, from Roman Urban. And, and they may be very well suited to this blade. So I might, uh, I might end up having the... Uh, Having a new suka made, basically, and having a new set of fittings done. Um, maybe I'll do a whole new sai and just have two set of set of fittings for it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, uh, but it's a nicer shape than I thought it would be, and this is my happy face. If you're unfamiliar, you may not have seen it before. Um, the blade is is in much well. The blade is in great shape. It was supposed to be, and it is so meets my expectations. Polish on the Kisaki, uh, not something I'm super happy with, but not not anything I'm going to bitch and moan about. 
The sigh and fittings and fit and feel are leaps and bounds ahead of what I thought it would be from the photos. And, uh, and so that is what I've got for you. So that was me unboxing what should be a very expensive katana. Um, I hope you found it mildly entertaining and enjoyed the ride with me. Cheers and thanks for watching.